What's up everyone? Welcome back for more Exos Heroes content. In today's video, we're going to discuss hero enhancement, the do's and the don'ts, and level of enhancement. But before that, if you want to see more Exos Heroes content, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Knowing when to enhance your hero and how to enhance them is very important in this game, especially when they dropped update 2.0 in which we had a hard time clearing chapter 11. So in this video, we will give you a step-by-step -step on the list of possibilities on how you upgrade, enhance your heroes. But before that, first of all, these are the do's and don'ts of hero enhancement. So number one is know the hero that you're enhancing. Know what type of hero do you have because it's important in hero building and also on how to make sure that you have the right equipment especially on guardian stones also make sure that you have enough materials to enhance and lastly don't waste your resources make sure that when you enhance your heroes it's a one-time thing or if if you have scarce resources, make sure that you put them to good use. So the basics of enhancement starts with leveling up. So leveling up a character involves taking them from level 1 to level 100. But along the way, you have to enhance them, bless them, and eventually transcend. So. There are certain stages in a character that you have to that you have to enhance when you reach level 60 you have to enhance so that you can you can upgrade your character to five star and also when you reach level 75 you also have to enhance so that you could upgrade or level up your character beyond level 75 beyond 75 it's also important that you also transcend your characters then the only way to um, go up level 60 and 75 is to bless your character so these are the basics in terms of leveling up or enhancing your characters the next one in enhancing or leveling up your characters is through your weapons so your weapons give you varied stats depending on on what rarity your weapon is like for example um, your rare gives you two lines of stats but your legendary gives you three lines of stats and ultimately your fated equipment or or armor or or, or weapon has four lines of stats so you have to also make sure that you progress your weapons and your equipment in order for you to to enhance your characters then that the newest one that we had and um, that was given to us in update 2.0 is awakening or awaken so when you awaken your your heroes you will be required at least five five equipment that are level 60 that are fated again you have to have fated weapons for this one and uh, sorry fated equipment for this one so you have to level them up to level 60 all five of them then they will be consumed for permanent stats uh, the permanent stats that you see here on on the right are very impressive in terms of a one-time one-time enhancement but the downside is you'll lose the equipment that was equipped to your character so that's the trade-off for having such a big bump up of stats in your combat power attack defense and hp aside from that whatever guardian stones that was equipped in those equipment uh, especially if they're in a set will also give you awakened bonus effects but right now I don't have them equipped here but if you have them let's say for example if you have six frost garden stones 
it will be a plus 700 in the deep in the defense permanently so awaken is is a high risk high reward type of type of enhancement because you risk a lot of components you risk a lot of resources but you gain also a lot of stats so that is it for your simple uh, enhancement of your hero the next set of enhancements will involve an FC or your fate core so once you equip your fate core like this one with Deva she increases her stats automatically so if you can see her stats here um, take note of her attack it's plus 197 937.11 as we take off her fate core you can see that her stats have dropped already so once there is an equipped fate core automatically your stats take off so aside from that once after you equip and also you try to enhance your fate core with Mew it uh, stats also increase so you have your attack defense and HP and combat power stats increase so for each enhancement that you put on that FC I think for every FC enhancement the drawback for this one is that there's an RNG to your enhancement and as you go higher in terms of enhancement the percentage drops so from the the highest is 70 drops 5% every time you do an enhancement for the fate core again it's also a high risk high reward type of scenario and you're so dependent on the RNG I'm not saying that you shouldn't do this but eventually again be wise on who or what hero you're going to do this to because not all fate cores should be enhanced unless you really you're really using them for quite a while or you're using them for PvP or for other content and the last enhancement for your fusion sorry for your fate core is your fusion your fusion requires you to have a copy of your fate core which is really really hard to get but again if you just even fuse it just once there is also already a big bump in terms of stats so try as much as possible to summon for at least one duplicate or two duplicates if you can I think one duplicate is enough but the more fusion you do on, on a fate core the stats go even higher and the last would be your core sharing so your for your core sharing you can find it here in your fate core so when you're new to core sharing you initially have to open it with 300 zest and be careful when you core share because the stats do differ depending on which uh, fate core you're going to use for a certain type of hero so try to browse through your your fate course and based on what I've seen in my other account normally for 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 fate core sharing the higher the the higher the count for 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 fusion for a fate core usually the stats are much bigger so let's say for example if you fused Lepin time uh, three times so her, her 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 core sharing stats are a bit more higher compared to only a FC Lepin who's only been uh, fused for only once so be careful with this because this is only allowed with one hero and once you you cancel sharing you I think will be waiting for another six hours for this one to to be shared or another fate core to be shared so that is that is what we have covered today for for hero enhancement well it has played a big part in our game recently especially with the, the recent update people or players have been looking for ways on how to how to finish off chapter 11 and so have I 
I think the game is is getting pretty much harder and harder but I'm sure that we would be able to find ways on how to how to enhance level up our characters the the last the last recourse would be to awaken your hero but that would take a lot of exp th that would take a lot of um, resources a lot of equipment and also holy water of the universe so that is i think the last recourse try to do the other enhancements first before you do your awakened hero but anyway that concludes this video let me know what you think in the comments below especially on who you want me to hi highlight first in our gameplay and enhancement guide you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video warden out